Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is the Crusader Kings 2 with the Fame Room mod installed and welcome to the Duchy of the Many Citadels, ruled by King Obold Many Arrows. I found out one thing however that I very much dislike. She has a lot of cash and so I've been waiting a wee little bit when I thought it was time to come back to, uh, well, to, for us to be able to actually fight her because she's going to hire so many mercenaries I won't be able to hold against her. I also found out that perhaps I haven't done as smart as I had hoped, because Undercity here is a 4th level 4, whereas Sundabar is a 4th level 7. Oh, because Sundabar has its own special thing, 4th level plus 3. Yeah, I still am going to keep the Undercity there, because I'm an orc. Luckily, there is no difference between Dragon Spike and Adbar, by the way, but Sundabar, uh, yeah. I knew it was a special city, but I didn't realize it had an, a unique thing here. Uh, a massive recruitment drive for the Dragon Spikes, that is enough to get that completely done. Go to Raven Cross, because that still needs quite a bit of boosting. So yes, we have enough men to, I think, warn her not to attack me. But I don't think we have enough men to, well, go willy-nilly. What I can do is just call up some men somewhere where I'm willing to go, like... And start raiding a wee little bit. Because raiding would be nice if we could get some income somewhere. Princess Dis is pretty weak sauce. I know I should actually let my troop recover here. Could do this. I could do de these. It's currently at the maximum, more or less, so... Ronos! Alright. Also pretty mm, special. Oh, I'm not a piece. Right, I can't do it. We have this ally who is attacking Cormir. Believe it or not, they are. Down here. Ooh, an elusive shadow. And still, meh, yeah, because he's orc. 27% in their favor. Are we good? Um, he is uh, going to try and take this orc back. Uh, half orc. Interesting. It's going fast up, I have to say. I am surprised at the effectiveness of my ally. King Obold Many Arrows. Well, my grandson. Yeah. Cormier isn't doing anything. That's interesting. I'm starting to wonder if I should send somebody down there. Yeah, but I don't want to be... We can, I could also attack you, but the problem is you don't aid anything. I really need to attack Everloomed. And I think that Everloomed... I'm so afraid that these two will like each other enough that he will go beneath her. At least I'm getting enough money on us to also call in mercenaries if I want to. Our truce ends in 77. It feels like I'm not doing anything. Oh, somebody's getting destroyed. The Grey Wolf Tribe. Yep, they conquered a little bit. Wait, that might make us, uh, allow us to say, why don't we declare war on you? Start attacking for the, the Rauer route. I mean, this is already... A are these dwarves? Gnomes. Do you have allies? Yes, you do. Hmm. Cost 50 piety. I should have enough that I can conquest this and then that one and... Yeah, we might be able to, 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 to kill a few people here. 
and get an additional duchy for our kingdom. I mean, it's not part of our duchy, it's part of the Savage North. And it doesn't have any citadels, it's all kind of tribal, which is a little annoying. This isn't, though. But you are else... So if I attack for a holy war, she's gonna come in. So I won't be able to do that. But I will do this. Conquest of the n of that territory. I think this should be good enough. Cancel. I, d did I now click OK? Gosh darn it, that's not what I wanted to do. I know we're attacking in unfavorable terrain, but the advantage is too big. In numbers and, and what have you not. Gonna wait until you arrive, uh, are locked in. Gonna attack you at the Undercity. We're gonna attack the Night Trees. We have a 10 to 1 ratio, so it's easily done. All for peace. Goodbye. One more conquest. Actually, I can hold that terrain. Seven out of seven. Yeah, but it's actually because we want to give away the dragon spikes. But we want Silvery Moon. But Silvery Moon has too much cash. And I still need money in order to form the kingdom. But for now, let's just wait here then. Well, actually, we should actually continue immediately. Ducal. No, 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 no. Conquest of the Moonwood. <laughs> Give some sons some land. Give some sons some wives. I mean, yeesh. I don't know. I don't know if this is actually fruitful, if they can get children from this, but we'll have to see. Have to experiment a little bit. And you. Yeah, you don't like me. You will never like me. That's fine. Mork many arrows. Mork and Gork. And Gork is the next in line. So actually I would like for you to get a little bit of... Uh, oh, I now have done Mork. No, Gork, is the, the first in line is now with combat. Oh, well, I'm, I want to do it vice versa. Well, that's my mistake. I don't need a ducal claim. I can conquest the Moonwood and just give some of my sons some land. Stonewood, do you have any... No, you don't. You're in hiding even. You're kind of afraid of everything. Conquest of the Coldwood. That's done. Ooh. But cash can be obtained perhaps a little bit. Didn't realize I had that many characters uh, trapped. There we go. We still also have something of her. Don't know even why, but we do. Oh, wait. That is, of course, the original owner of that, that land. Oh, apparently she was still worth money. Sure. I think I can stand down the troops. How is it doing here in Cormac? Um, wonderful man that you've actually been managed, uh, able to manage this. 
Why didn't you take the city? That would have made you have victory already, but... Um... But yeah, just ransom them. It's not gonna hurt my, my, my war score, and it's gonna give me cash. There we go. That is a cold wood for us. The many citadels are growing larger and larger still. Uh, you. Grand land a title. You're gonna get a cold wood. Because I find that a good enough title. As I find with the night trees. Now for the moon wood. And whoever I then want to be the duke, I will give the night trees and make him a proper uh, vassal. A feudal vassal. A proper orc kingdom vassal. And we will also attack you for your lands. And we have enough uh, charitable... No, I'm gonna... Yeah, greedy. We want more territory. Oh, shoot. We got ourselves a little smuggling thing going on. Where did it happen in this in here, over here? It will go away in the end, anyways. But oh uh, yeah, so let's just do what it does. You're currently still in the Undercity. You know what? Just go to the fork. Uh, because I assume that uh, Abyssal, yeah, is very low moral authority. So I hope that that will work out a little better. And you need that in order to actually upgrade this into a citadel that they have the same religion as you. So the Ungard and Ungard here are just going to be very annoying. Boom. We didn't capture anyone. There we go. Stand down. Yeah, uh, Silvery Moon. Our name is now bigger. That means we win. Our font size is larger. That is the only thing that matters. Uh, Grem. Let me find you a wife. Ooh. She's n no one. I don't know if that can get children, but... Ooh, and... Hardy. Eh. Tough and brilliant and high orc. And, z and zero years old. But that is something we want. There we go. That's a good marriage. And Grim... There's a Yonti as well. Are we going to get some Yontis around here? No, I just... No. Not sure if that's going to be fruitful marriages. Too bad that the Null children look like the Goblin children still. A Draconic! Oh, you're a lizard folk. Oh, okay. You're not 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 true. No. That is indeed draconic in the type, but let's just get some Yanti in here, just out of the the heck of it. Grim, yeah, I'm gonna grant you the land of title, the Moonwood. So, that is that. That of course means that we can make another duchy title, but that is not currently what we're interested in. We are interested in attacking you. Call my court physician at once, that's my wife. The Stone Lens has won, I can't believe it. Wow, Cormir lost. That is amazing. Cormier lost. That is... I want it all. I want it now. I'm greedy. Yes, you are. Uh, smallpox and insane. Not really worth it. Neither are you. Can I sacrifice you? Nope. I need to be of a different religion to do that. Cannot sacrifice them to the Orcish God. We are now close, by the way, to another imp Iconic character. The House of Battle Hammer. Oh, his daughter died. Katie Bree. <gasps> Katie Bree died. Yo, no. Katie Bree is dead. 
KT Bree is dead, folks. Drisdo Erden, are you are you not now now hurt? One of your friends is just dead. Where's Drist? There you are. Relations, friends, yeah, Drist and oh, there's Wolfgar's Dragonbane, yeah, the other one. They're apparently all, all beneath Bruno of Mithril Hall. Now he is depressed. Yeah, his daughter died. His adopted daughter died. Katie Bree. Oh well. He did get himself a new daughter who's tough, smart, and pretty. I have to admit that is pretty amazing. How old is she? Fourteen. It would be amazing to just capture her. To ravage his lands. Oh, that is that needs a large force. But to plunder it and just say, Hey, your daughter, now mine. It is such a cool idea that I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I want to have... Boonor's daughter? Sure. This pleases me? Sure, it does. Except that we're not doing anything with our family here. Yeah, we can claim... Why can't we claim it all of a sudden for her? Is that because she's now part... Oh, it's because she's part in the line of succession. Yeah, but... Fighting for the claim is very pointless because it's a commonwealth claim. So it, it, it won't stick, so to speak. He just joined her. Decline. Don't want this. He just joined her. Declare war. For Silvery Moon. The conquest of Silvery Moon. Hey, we lack an ally. Often an aggression pact. A wise choice. Form an alliance. Yes, thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a war. This is a war between Silvery Moon and Obold Many Arrows for the conquest of the Silvery Moon. We're gonna need some mercs. Because the more mercs we also steal away from her, the better it is. Uh, Silent Rain, you're costing a lot. Oh, I fought for a moment he only had 400 troops, but he didn't. There's so many merc companies. And these are really expensive for being a very small band. You are way too expensive, the Iron Throne. And uh, the Blue Sigil, the Claw, the Chill, the Red Ravens, the Teeth, the Zara Krakens. I just want to see what type of traits our commanders have so I can uh, determine a little bit what is good. Direct leader that's leading in the center. That won't happen because I am leading the center. Like here, cavalry and heavy. So he has a few traits. So the blues, the chill, have something. And what are you? You have no interesting traits. I hate that I constantly am kicked up towards the top. The Iron Throne are too expensive. You have no good traits. You are leaning on the flank. That is a good one. I will take the Blood Axe Mercenary Company. Because now he is on the flank. Which is what we want. So we'll take that. And I guess I'm going to put my son with Rough Terrain Expert there. We are not fast enough to catch them. Still, I think it is a good idea to start immediately... I had attrition there. I still have attrition here. 
Gosh darn it, I have too large a force. Still have attrition here, this is not good. We have doubled the people, but we are now fighting in terrain that is not rough terrain. I don't think so, I'll do a commander myself. I lose a duel and I'm severely injured. Ouch. I will pay for this in time. That succeeded. We did do them quite a damage. There is the ally, by the way. Uh, I would like you to attach to my armies. Thank you. We will catch them over here. Because this is... No, that's Arctic terrain. What am I doing? That's not an advantage terrain to me. Advantageous terrain to me is what I meant to say. Sorry. Alright, we survived that. That's really good. That's a severe injury. Um, I still am going to keep the mercenaries around. Call for my court physician at once. Doesn't he have one of his own, my sons? That is what I wonder. But boom, we have it. I need to start making a big dent while I have the mercenaries up. Okay. We did a lot of work there. I'm going to go through the pass to capture these two back. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then we're going to go and smash into them. We took a river crossing penalty, though. <laughs> and Drisdo Erden is there, but he lost. Drisdo Erden lost the war to King Obold Many Arrows. It is done. It is freaking done. It is done. You. I revoke your title. Sent. I will stand you down. Thank you so much. We will stand this down. Um, the second born son, who's a rogue apparently, with decent, with, with children, uh, granddaughter and grandson, right? Yeah. Probably not smart, but it's the way I work. You are going to get the dragon spikes and the l l titles below it. Congratulations. And we will create... I don't have under piety. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Please, I need under piety. I need under piety. Please. Please. Under piety is all I need. How quickly am I going to pay on piety? Very badly. Please. Hunt the past days. Get me quickly piety. I don't want to die before. Please. Please. I have the cash. I took Silvery Moon. We have it. This is also, the, in, the, in, the, in the end, I would love this to become my main domain. So, yeah, I'm all for this, just I need the piety. I need the piety and I would love to get it in this episode and not just randomly die now. Oh, game, please don't. I just got scared there for a second, but that's the f fork. That is my one of my sons dying. Uh, grand on the title, you're gonna get the fork. Oh, man. Religious tension, incompetent ruler. Okay. Well. That didn't work out entirely according to plan. 2.47, though. We're now getting a lot of it. There's a hundred. Oh, and there is his son. Because this is a granddaughter. But that should be it. The kingdom... It's not going to be of the Silver Marshes, by the way. I can tell you that. But of the... I don't know yet. Of the, um, the, the Silver Marshes... Yeah, I can understand it a bit, but... Ladies and gentlemen. Kingdom... Obold Many Arrows is finally, truly 
King Obold Many Arrows. We've been waiting long enough for him to level up as fighter and what have you not. We're gonna try. I can't level him up as a barbarian, interestingly enough. I'm gonna try and level him up as a fighter again. But it's done. We are a kingdom. Four episodes. Took a little bit of time, but we are there. Four episodes. And Silvery Moon, she is now has a citadel that is really not that great. And the Silver Moon passed, she just... Oh, I thought it was some somebody else, but I don't know. And her son is my rival, which I probably can duel. Yeah, I can. He's... Oh, but I'm 40 and he's 60. I don't think that is a good idea anymore right now. Uh, but wow. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I want to hold on to these two uh, duchy titles. Uh, that is what I think would be the greatest. Um. Hey, I changed color also. Into uh, silver color. Gee, I wonder why. The silver marshes? Um, yeah, how are we going to call this? Uh, first of all, Grandland title. But I will change this immediately. Not to be Adbar, but of the Dragon Spikes. Dragons... Spikian? <laughs> I don't know what to call that, but Dragon Spikian? Dragon Spikish? <laughs> Feels a little bit weird. But uh, let's do this. Spikish. Because it's Orkish. There you go. My sons, you are beneath now. You hate this man. Sure, wants to see them the cattle sword drain. It's all fine. That is my second son gaining his duchy title. So we have taken care of that particular issue. And uh, we have very little Orkish rule. Of orcish, uh, uh, sorry, uh, belief, and even less orc. No, uh, same same amount of orcish culture. But yeah, oof, we've got some things to take care of us ahead of us. But we've done it. We are the kingdom title. As she took heirloom under her wing, you safeguarded yourself from me attacking you. You smart man, but you annoying little man, and you love her. Decrease counts of power, wizard the elective he likes, both human, yeah, attractive to beautiful, yeah, whatever. He loved her from the beginning. But I just took you down. Interestingly enough, you've got no children with this man. But at the age of 615, in the year 1377, King Obold Many Arrows did indeed make his kingdom for the high orcs. He is the king of the orcs. Because there is no other orc... That I believe that is a kingdom. Hungry. Oh, this is an old, by the way. So that's not a thing. Oh, there they conquered. These are all ducal or uh, counts. Sorry, I'm going to have to do it like this. Is there anywhere else high orc? There's a high orc. I'm surprised how long the high orcs have survived, though. Aren't you the weird one of this? Uh, oh, you're furious. You're not of the, the orc belief. It's just... <sighs> is this orc? No, this is Dalesman, probably. Yeah. Sorry. Colors are somewhat similar at times. Kentaur, Kentaur, Arkun... Tumbrov. That's funny that you have that little intersection. You're a gold dwarf ruling over Wemmick and what now? Dumb rough? Where's your own terrain? I have no idea. This is our Kuan as well. Oh! What happened to Horua? The Swagdar took a lot of it. That's amazing. <laughs> Horua is getting pressured in. That is... Not lore friendly, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I don't see a lot of orcs anywhere else. Bakamon? 
Goblin Noid. Bakamono, sorry. I was like, isn't there goblins over there? But apparently that's some sub sword that I do not realize. No, we uh we are the only orcs around, so we have done it. We are the only king of the orcs. Kingdom of the Silver Marshes. I would want to say the Blood Marshes or what have you not, but... <laughs> Which other color is also grey but more orcish? Of the Steel Marshes, of course. Steel Marsher, that is it. We are of the Steel Marshes, not the Silvery Marshes. And we should indeed then also rename this to Dragon Spiker. That is also logical. Thank you for that little insight there. We are the king of the Steel Marshes. And uh, although we don't have the Steel Marshes yet under our control, I am going to mm, unite this land beneath me. Yeah, these, these counties are not that great, I admit. But uh, this one and this one are. So I'm fine with doing it that way and uh, realm inheritance magnetic prima congenitor it is done you are not even near the very much near the throne my second son Urglan pretender and claimant to the chiefdom of the fork but the chiefdom of the fork is not mine why are you angry about that the fact that I have a claim to the fork I don't even I, I gave the fork away what are you doing? Well, he might revoke it, but... Look at that. Look at how my I've distributed land among my sons. Love it, love it, love it. I am surprised how you became a lot tamer after your initial expansion. The Celadrin, the Elven Gods. Yeah, well, we will see about what is going to go up. Right now, we are powerful, and I love it. That you have the Dragon Lion tribe. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen, buddy. The only thing I fear that is if I go... Uh, let me see about the faith around here. Foras. I could attack you. There is The Elk tribe just prevents these from the Elf Star to be near you. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could do a war against you... A holy war. Because all the du jour stuff is not going to work much. Oh, I'm also not allowed to do holy wars for some reason. Maybe because I don't have piety that doesn't even show. But I thought normally it did show. But just didn't say you have that option. By the way, could you guys stop trying to kill her? You don't need to kill her. No. And plot. Thank you. And not righteous imprisonment my own wife. Well, with that, I'm going to end it. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this. We are the Steel Marshes. I think we're going to continue a little longer. Because despite the fact that me now looking very powerful, we have a very fractured country in the forms of faith, in the forms of uh, culture. We are not stable by a long shot. So that's going to be very interesting to see. And we still have many, many children. But uh, do let me know. Is Crouch going to be the interesting character you'd like to see or not? Uh, but in the meantime, I say I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.